We're going to talk about a very inexpensive and simple way of allowing companies to begin to deal with the problem of shadow IT. And that has to do with the fact that your internal users are going to go to your uh, DMZ and they're going to go to the internet to sites like uh, Office 365, Gmail, Box, uh, Salesforce.com, you name it. They, are, they, they keep on growing and more, more and more departments are requesting uh, applications uh, out there. But how do you make sure that they are only going to the ones that you allow them to go? And how do you make sure that they are not going into malicious, account, malicious uh, applications that are out there? That you don't know about. There are many sites and apps that are like that. Or you want to prohibit some of your users for going into sites uh, that you don't want them to go. Instead of you know going into a uh, public Dropbox, you may want to have a box account for them to control their IDs and what, what they are doing and whatnot. How do you get an easy uh, handle on that problem, particularly when you have Curator already securing your uh, internal side and, and, and another uh, aspect of your security. Well, most likely you have some sort of a proxy device on your DMC and that can be, you know, Blue Code, uh, WebSense, uh, it can be the uh, IBM XGS, it can be Palo Alto, it can be Ironport, McAfee, you name it. So. But what you have is most likely you have that device, which is actually very easy in Curator, to have it uh, send the logs of everything it captured into Curator. So Curator is aware of everything that is actually going, and you know that Curator can easily be interfaced with the corporate LDAP or Active Directory, so it knows not only by user ID, but also what every user under the different user IDs that they have are they doing? Well, what if we also combine that with information from the X-Force? And the X-Force is the one that knows not only what sites are malicious, but also allows you to catalog and to get information about where, which are gambling sites, porn sites, uh, you name it. If you have that those logs being sent into Curator, all you need to do is download a free app it's called the IBM Cloud uh, Analytic Application. It's on the App Exchange. I'll show you that and, and when I go into the demo. That not only is going to provide you all that information, who are your risky users, where are they going, where are the applications that, do, the, that you want to sanction for good or, or applications that you don't want them to actually go and be notified about it. But also, <laughs> this is going to tie your risky users from this perspective of where they're going out with the risk score that are being used on the UBA that I shown in all the videos. So one aspect of the riskness of the particular user is not only what they do inside their network, going into the VPN different hours, uh, you know, doing, going into uh, countries they don't normally, logging into the VPN from countries they don't log into, uh, unusual hours, all the things that UBA handles from the internal side can also be complemented for what the users do when they go into uh, outside uh, applications. So let's see that in action. So what I did is I went into the extension management and logged in into the uh, App Exchange from there. And this is the application that I uh, downloaded. A very simple zip file. I installed it, created a security token for it, and that was it. Now, I, I got my blue code logs to be uh, being fed into Curator, and let's start navigating. This is the first version, the 1.0 version. These are, are agile uh, uh, development in IBM, so <laughs> expect to see uh, more enhancement into this. But let's see what we have in, 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 the first, uh, uh, in the first version. So first of all, we have 182 applications discovered. Wow. I mean, 182 things that I don't even know that they even existed, but I got my users actually going in there. And every one of those, based on the X-Force data, they, they conveyed a particular risk score that is actually being uh, calculated uh, in here. I can actually click on the score and, you know, 
Now these you know extra touring boat well, these are definitely not good and no no wonder they have a, a high risk score and you know uh, every, everything that is above seven on the default configuration of the tool is uh, considered risky both for users and uh, as well as applications. And but let's say that I you know there are some of these applications that I actually want to authorize out of the, those 132. So for example, I want them to allow them to go to um, Office 365. So I can actually just go ahead here and approve that app. Once I do that. can immediately see that you know only I have 182 uh, to deal with but you, you get the picture you will be authorizing the applications that you uh, don't consider risky and you want to allow your users to actually go uh, go there that's from the application standpoint let's see from the user standpoint and you get the same thing you can see the the, the, the risky users in here in uh, and again, you can uh, sort them by uh, by actual rank or what they're doing externally there. Um, and you can click on any particular uh, uh, user. So here in the applications, for example, I want to see this for share. This seems to be, you know, web storage, that type of application. I can actually click on it. I can see the users that actually go there as well. Uh, and actually click on the X-Force and get more information, I guess, that I will be getting in here. Yeah, here it is, you know, this is the, the X-Force classification and risk associated with this uh, particular uh, site. It's probably a site that doesn't keep credentials well, that, you know, it's, it's just, you, you don't want your corporate users uh, to be going there. This is pretty useful just the way it is, you know, instead of you getting some third-party apps or trying to run reports on your own based on that you get it now here out of the box and for free but this I think becomes a, a lot more interesting when you see it on the perspective of the UBA tool which is feeding these data as well so these risky users are risky not just because of what they're going outside but what they're doing outside and inside and all, all the risks are actually associated so we have a, our top user is here is Carla Schwart uh, Schwarzberger, something like that. I can actually go here. I can search from the UBA tool, but I can actually uh, go here into my user and look for that uh, Carla. I hope there are not that too many. Carla. Oh, yeah, there's only one Carla. And I can click in here and see where did she, uh, she, she's been going. Oh, look at that. She's been going to a bit torrent site. Uh, that's not good. And she's actually been sending a lot of data there. Uh, so, so you 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 see the benefit and the connection between your uh, app analytics and the user behavior analytics for monitoring the risk of what your users do, both internally and externally.